As government, we are going to to have full collaboration with you in all sectors, health, education, heritage, and all the sectors that UNESCO is involved in. Uh, your country representatives here will be working with us closely, and I think we'll take it up. We, we, we are certainly looking forward to make sure that we preserve the heritage that we have. Uh, unfortunately, it's always a question of funding, it's always a question of resources, but we have a lot of other, you know, House of Wonders and People's Palace are known, but there's a lot of other buildings that require immediate attention. And as government, we are looking for resources to make sure that we, we preserve them, but we preserve them in the right way, you know, the, the old traditional way of doing it. And we will definitely be working with UNESCO uh, to do that. Mr. President, thank you so much for awarding time uh, to meet with the UNESCO delegation. Uh, this is the UNESCO leadership for Eastern and Southern Africa visiting your beautiful uh, island, Zanzibar. Uh, we are here uh, on the occasion of a big meeting that is being hosted uh, uh, here in Zanzibar. And thank you for hosting us. Uh, we have about 130 uh, uh, colleagues and, and officials from government from 33 countries coming from the cultural sector that would very much relate to opportunities here in Zanzibar and that is called sustainable tourism development. Um, and why do we pitch that under the culture program? That is because uh, we want to position that program based on the world heritage sites, the very rich cultural uh, uh, history of the region and the coast, um, and to see how can we develop a sustainable tourism approach that will benefit more the local communities. So, for instance, via the, the, the creative economy. Yeah. So there are, there are different, different opportunities there to make that happen.